Hi everyone, welcome to Foodie Summer. I'm Summer. Now I'm in Den Haag, the Netherlands. Today is Sunday, and I'm going to make some hot pot at home. So you might wonder, is it difficult to prepare, or what should I do for hot pot? So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make the simple Chinese hot pot at home if you live in the Netherlands. First, we need to get some ingredients for your hot pot. One good thing about hot pot is that you can throw almost whatever you want in the soup base, and it won't go wrong. So just go to a nearby supermarket, grab some raw meat, seafood, and vegetables. If you want something really special like meatball, fishball, or sliced lamb or beef, you can go to an Asian market called Oriental. You can find the market in many big cities in the Netherlands. There, you can find a lot of Asian ingredients. One more thing: don't forget to buy hot pot soup base. You can find it at Asian shop, or you can simply use any homemade chicken soup or beef soup as the broth. Then you should just take out a rice cooker or any cooking pan you prefer. But just to make sure this one is really thick, so that after you boil the soup, it won't overflow or something. Then just open your hot pot soup base package. Mine contains several small packages. First one is some powder. Put them in your cooking pan. Then I also got some dried chili pieces. Oh, that's a lot actually. If you cannot eat chili, don't put all of them in. Also, there are some black beans. Just add it in if you like. I also got some chili oil. And then add a certain amount of water, stir it around. Then time to boil it. Wait till the soup is boiling. You can put any kind of ingredients you prefer in the soup. And then you just need to be patient, wait for the soup to boil again. And now you can enjoy your meat. Meanwhile, cook the ingredients for second round. So today we got golden mushroom and some deep fried tofu puff. Also got sliced lamb pieces and some fish balls. This one is a normal white fish ball, and this one is the cuttlefish ball. Also, we had some shrimp dumpling here and. This one is the fish ball, also, but with some mixed seafood inside as a filling. It's 
smells so good. Now we just finished cooking the sliced lamb pieces. Uh, we got this one frozen from the Asian market, and then this one doesn't need to cook long. Like uh, when the hot pot is boiled, you just throw it in and then cook for 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, then they're ready to eat. Let's try it. I love the lamb flavor. It is so special, it's different from any other meat. And today I got the soup base. It's also lamb broth, so it makes the lamb even more flavorful. You can always throw the lamb in first to get some extra flavor for the soup. Then later if you put any vegetables or other meat, other fish balls, meatballs in the hot pot, they will also taste like meat. So that's one tip for hot pot. This one is a little bit saltish, but I think it's just because I put a little bit too less water in the hot pot. So um, maybe if you cook at home, you can put slightly a little bit more water than what I did before, so it won't get too salty in the beginning. Even though the soup base is said it's spicy, but actually it's not spicy at all in my opinion. It just gives a little bit stronger meat flavor to the lamb. It's really nice. This one's pooping just now. Do you see that? I took a bite and then come out from the other side. Hot. Oh. So this one is the fish ball with mixed seafood fill filling. But actually I have no idea what's in it. It does taste like a lot of things mixed together, but what exactly it is, I don't know. It tastes nice though. The inside is really soft, it's a little bit like watery-ish, but it's really seafood-y. What's it called? Seafood. Seafood. It's really, really soft after boiling. It looks kind of hard, but after boiling, it's really tender, soft. You can easily put your chopsticks in. Boop. Oops. And I want to show you something. It's really bad now. This is the shrimp dumpling. Look at this. It's just like the rubber outside it looks so bad I didn't expect it would become like this it was supposed to be like transparent color and really cute really oh nice taste but I have no idea can I even eat it or not it still tastes nice I still want to recommend you to get this one, even though I know it doesn't look so good. But shrimp dumpling is always shrimp dumpling. Always my favorite. Mm. 
Look at the shrimp inside. Such a huge piece. Mmm. It's more like smashed shrimp. I have no idea. Anyway, I like it. Oh, let's try the fried tofu. It's called fried tofu puff. So it's deep fried. And inside, I don't know if you can see, they have a, a lot of tiny bubbles. And all those bubbles with air, they will grab all the juicy, all the flavor from the soup base in the hot pot, which make the tofu really tasty. So now it doesn't taste like tofu anymore. It's more like a meaty flavor. Tofu is one of the highly recommended ingredients you should get for the hot pot, especially the deep fried ones. I still want to try this ball. It's the cuttlefish ball. I think it will taste the same as all the other fish balls, normal fish balls. It all tastes like the hot pot base at this point because we already boiled for quite a long time. All the soup is already sinking into the ball. So, I don't know. This one is really tastes like a jelly. It's really cute. It's now tender, a little bit chewy. You can see the inside here. And if you chew carefully, you can still feel there's a little tiny piece of cuttlefish inside. It gives a little bit more rich texture. I would say the cuttlefish ball is more... Um, no, we already <laughs> finished. But I would say the cuttlefish ball here is more tasty, more flavorful than a normal fish ball because you can really taste the small pieces of the cuttlefish. So I would say if you only want to try one fish ball, then grab it. This mushroom here is called Inoki. It's from its Japanese name, which is Inoki Daki. But here in Netherlands, we just called it like golden mushroom or golden needle mushroom, whatever. Uh, as a Chinese, we always say it is called see you tomorrow because this one is a little bit difficult to digest after you eat it. So the next morning, when you go to the toilet, you might still see the shape of the mushroom. Uh, that's why it's called see you tomorrow. Let's try see you tomorrow. Hmm. It doesn't taste like mushroom at all now. <laughs> it tastes like meat. I think it's because I, I cook it for like five minutes in the hot pot. So now it just tastes like the lamb soup. That's why they said this kind of mushroom is really good uh, ingredients for the hot pot because it will grab all the flavor from hot pot. So it doesn't have a strong flavor itself. Like some mushrooms, you can really taste the mushroom flavor, but this one, uh, it will grab all the flavors from the soup, from the meat, from other vegetables, other ingredients, and then it just tastes like every, everything. Very nice. Sometimes a bit spicy, but... This was okay. Not super spicy. I hope now you got a better idea about how to making a simple Chinese hot pot at home. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below so you won't miss anything I upload later. Uh, have a nice day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.